New York City is drawing up new rules to regulate the virtual currency Bitcoin and combat money laundering. It's after a large-scale attack by cyber criminals brought down several online exchanges. But despite the obstacles, the digital currency is continuing to gain ground, as Artis Lusikovnev found out at a Bitcoin conference in Berlin. They've come to speak, to mingle, and to promote their vision of an alternative financial system. Investors, businessmen, and curious citizens have all gathered here in Berlin for a conference on what they call a Bitcoin revolution. It's the first digital currency that's not owned or operated by any sort of bank. It's guaranteed payment without a middleman. You can buy it with a real currency at online exchanges. And that's an attractive option for those who think that today's financial system is in bad need of an overhaul. As people see how Bitcoin is used online and they see the advantages, the instant transfer of funds, the security, not having to send your personal data to make these transactions, I think a lot of people see these advantages. So they tell their friends, they tell their coworkers, they want, and they tell the merchants that they, they do business with. And they expand the sphere of Bitcoin. And that's a view that seems to be growing more popular. Nowhere is that more evident than right here in Berlin. In fact, this neighborhood boasts the highest concentration of businesses accepting the currency in the world. Its growing list of Bitcoin establishments includes a record shop, a print store, a boutique, and this bar. And here, getting your hands on some Bitcoins, well, digitally speaking, is easier than ever. Instead of buying them from an online exchange, you can use this Bitcoin ATM to trade your euros into Bitcoins and use that to buy your happy hour drink. Of course, Bitcoin isn't without risk, and the past few weeks haven't been too kind to the cryptocurrency. Apple removed the last native Bitcoin wallet application from its app store, and the currency saw its third mega crash in the past few months when the largest Bitcoin exchange stopped customer withdrawals because of a glitch in the software. Of course, that led the currency to lose value by a stunning 20% just for a day, but it's a sign that Bitcoin may have a long way to go before it's a safe bet. Reporting in Berlin for RT, I'm Lucy Kafanov.